Now I'm going to talk about the water features. This garden was redesigned in 2011 by landscape architect Raymond Jungles. He moved 85% of all of the trees. At that point, it was only two and a half acres. To make it look larger, he put this huge water feature to reflect the sky and the plants to make it look larger. It also cools the office area. This is the koi pond. Koi lived 226 years. That's the record. Now our koi, two and a half years ago, the Hurricane Irma came through. 300 koi went to heaven, but new ones have been donated to us. This is the turtle pond. There are two types of turtles, the soft shell turtle and the native musk turtle. The tree leaning over the pond, that's a palmetto palm, the state palm tree of Florida. Over here, this is the ponytail palm. It's not a palm at all. It's actually a succulent. It's related to the cactus that grows in Mexico. The, the bulbous base stores water. I see a turtle, there's a turtle here. People actually bring their turtles from home. They get permission to introduce them to the turtle pond. And they come back and visit the turtles on Saturday afternoon. And they, they can recognize their own turtles. Now this garden opened in 1962. Morris Lapidus is a famous architect. He designed this fountain. He designed the Eden Rock Hotel, the Fountain Blue Hotel, and he pedestrianized Lincoln Road in 1960, the first outdoor mall in the country. Oh, he was a bow tie guy. If you've ever been to the Fountain Blue Hotel, on the marble floor is bow ties. It was his signature. Now this rock, this lit limestone, you know what it's called rock, it's very porous. It holds water just like a sponge. And that's why we don't have basements in South Florida. It also gives us very distinctive architecture. All of the high rise the hotels, condominiums, are sitting on 13-story pedestals, which are the parking garages, because we don't have any underground parking here. 